Hey everyone, today my son is going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to install Windows 10 from a USB flash drive. Okay, thanks, Dad. So, uh, you can see here I have this website pulled up, which is microsoft.com slash en dash us slash software dash download slash windows 10 slash. So, this will bring you to a page where you can uh, download Windows 10. Uh, if you want to update uh, your existing installation of Windows 10, you can also do it through here. But what we want here is the download tool now, and this will download the Microsoft Windows Media Creation tool. So once that's done, I'll go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and hit yes. It might take a second to load, and it will read getting a few things ready. Uh, it will give you a license agreement they have to accept to continue the installation. And now you can do a couple of things. You can either upgrade your PC if you have a Windows 7 uh, computer and you also have a Windows 10 product key. And you can also create installation media for another PC. That's what I'm going to be doing here and you can use it on the PC that you create the media on. So to make a USB flash drive, click on this option. Go ahead and hit the next button. Uh, you, I would just leave use the recommended options for this PC but if something doesn't look right, you can uncheck it, and then you can change 32-bit, 64-bit. If you want Windows 10, uh, the single language, or the N edition. And then if you need to get it in Espanol, Spanish. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and hit Next. So I'm just going to be putting this on a USB flash drive, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the USB flash drive option and hit Next. You can see uh, that my USB flash drive is here. You need to make sure that you have your USB flash drive inserted into a USB port on your computer. I recommend that you uh, put it in a USB 3.0 port because that will give you a faster speed and it should install faster. So uh, a USB 3 port can be indicated by the blue connector on your tower. So uh, since I have my flash drive selected right there, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the next button. And now it will download Windows 10, and you can still use your computer while you're downloading Windows 10. So we'll get back here right when we're done downloading Windows 10. Now that we have Windows 10 on the flash drive, insert it into the computer that you want to install Windows 10 on, and restart that computer. As the computer is starting, you will be prompted to enter the boot menu. This is done by pressing either Escape, F12, or Delete, depending on your BIOS. Once you're in the boot menu, select the option to boot from the flash drive. Okay, so now we're in the Windows 10 setup, so it will ask you what language you'd like to install in, the time and currency, as well as the uh, keyboard. So I have a US keyboard. So if you're in the United States, everything here should be right. So go ahead and hit next and install now. It will say on the bottom that setup is starting. Uh, put in your product key for Windows 10. I don't have a product key. I'm just going to run this in trial mode, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, if you don't have a product t key, then click on the version of Windows that you want. I'll uh, we'll go with Windows 10 uh, Home. Go ahead and hit Next. And make sure that when you uh, select the operating system, that you select the one that corresponds with the product key that you'll be buying if you don't have it yet. So I accept the license terms. I go ahead and hit next and now it will ask you which type of installation do you want. Uh, if you already have a Windows 7 8 8.1 installation you can upgrade. Uh, here I'm going to do a custom or clean install which basically means if you have anything here, so let's say we have our Windows 7 partition here. We're just going to delete it. And then we're going to delete everything until the only thing it shows is unallocated space. That means that we formatted the drive. And we can just hit next and Windows will automatically partition. 
So now it will just copy the Windows files, it will get the files ready for installation, it will install the features, install updates, and then it will finish up. So we'll uh, meet you when we get there. Okay, so now you can see that uh, we're in the Get Going Fast menu. If you're uh, using a laptop, it's going to ask you to sign into your Wi-Fi. But this is basically Get Going Fast. It will automatically do all your settings for you. Hit Customize. You don't want any of this. So turn that, 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 and that all off. Go ahead and hit Next. You can hit those off too. And I would keep smart screen on and then turn these off. Smart screen I like. It I, it just makes me feel safer. So I'll go ahead and hit next and it will say just a moment. And in just a moment, your Windows installation will be set up. Make it yours. Who's going to use this PC? One guy of two guys tech uh, I wouldn't use Cortana and now you can see that in just a moment once again uh, it, will, it will ask a couple more questions it will say hi we'll say you're happy you're here And then it might start installing updates. Yep, getting things ready. Please don't turn off your PC. So I'll get back to you guys once it's done getting things ready. Okay, so now you can see that we're in the desktop. So uh, Windows is now pretty much installed. Uh, what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to go to Cortana. And I'm going to hide Cortana. As well as I'm going to uh, not show the task button to make it look a little bit nicer. So now uh, Windows is installed. We have a notification. It will search for the uh, display driver, especially if you have a laptop, you know, for battery life and performance. But anyway, yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos just like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.